Hello, welcome. Today we are going to be doing legs. Um, I got some requests to do something that wasn't legs, and I recorded it and looked back at all the footage and hated it. So uh, I'll have to re-record that. Anyway, I already drank my pre-workout, which today I had nitric and also glycerol for the pump. I love uh, what a big jar this comes in. Is it? Can we just take a minute to appreciate this big jar? Yeah, so without further ado, let's get a move on. Five to ten minutes of light cardio. I like to take this time to think about my life and <laughs> I'm just kidding. Five minutes later. All right, good enough. Go. Time for a wee bit of mobility. Oh my god. Ouch. I did legs like two days ago. So ideally I would not be doing legs again today with how sore I am, but I simply don't care. <sighs> Some people move forward when they do these. The way to resolve that is simply move back <laughs> or go slower. Ow, Chihuahua. I like to include thoracic mobility regardless of the workout because frankly, you are always using your core. Nice. You're standing, you're sitting upright. Maybe not really if you're laying down unless you're like actively engaging your core, but usually you're using it. So, use it, don't abuse it, baby. Treat it right with mobility. Some cat-cow action? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Stop sexualizing mobility. You are preventing people from doing it. People tell me they don't want to do cat-cow because they feel awkward. That's, there's something wrong with that. <laughs> Some of these. Ouchie. I just spent a long time setting this up um, and I didn't record it, it's fine. This is like the most important part. <laughs> I'm gonna start out with Bulgarians because you know, they're kind of like a lot of action. Okay, a little warm up set. Warm up sets are basically where you go through the movement and you do the exercise, but with a weight that's like lighter than challenging. Hopefully that made sense. Cause something pretty important about this workout that I wanna point out is you can do all these exercises, okay? But if you're not challenging yourself, you're not gonna see the same results as if you were using like a challenging weight. So for this, I'm gonna be doing three sets of 10 to 12 each leg. If you don't have a challenging enough weight, then perhaps you should reconsider the reps and sets you're doing. Um, <laughs> you might need to do a different number than me. Okay, let's go. Oh, frick me. Oh, it's fine. Bro. Oh! Holy smokeroo! Ouchie, ouch, ouch! Okay, now I'm gonna do heel elevated goblet squats. All the way down, look at that. Hell yeah, mobility. Strong knees. So this is what a strong knee looks like. <laughs> Some people are like, oh my God, no. Don't put your knees over your toes. Your knees are gonna explode. If your knees explode doing this, that just means you have weak knees and you need to work on your knee strength. No weak knees here, baby. No weak knees. Oh, frick me, man. This is when your face gets freaking ugly. Ouchie, ouchie, ouch, ouch, ouch. Ouch. I feel like my neck looks so thick doing that. Speaking of, I feel like necks are super underrated aesthetic. Like no one really thinks about that, but necks are super important. Like a nice thick neck. Mike Tyson neck. The kind of neck that makes it look like you could just punch him in the face and they're unfazed. Set numero dos. I'm gonna see. Ooh, put on this really intense 
like a Sith Lord. Ouchie, 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 ouch. ouch. I suddenly don't want to do legs anymore. Oh my God. I have pretty intense hip dips. I think it's just like the muscle. See how the muscle goes in like that? I don't think there's anything wrong with that. They're dipping, they're hipping. In my personal opinion, doing hip thrusts like this is quite literally the most difficult way to do a hip thrust. Like it doesn't even freaking, <laughs> doesn't make sense. I feel like literally using a machine or even a barbell, the barbell is like way easier than using a dumbbell. But to stay on brand with what we're doing today, I'm using a dumbbell for you, for you alone. It's not for me, it's for you. Oh my God. It's, oh, it's killing me. Okay. Actually, this is more like a cast glute bridge. We're glute bridging. You could go down lower, but it's like, it's like getting caught. It's like weird. I don't want to go lower. Notice how I don't go like this. That's how you freaking hurt yourself. Going like that, like this, chin tucked, but engaged. Time to go heavier. The heaviest weight they have is 140. I can very easily hip thrust 140, but I don't know if I can get that on my lap because it's a dumbbell. I'm gonna try though. Oh, I don't know if I can pick this up. Oh my God, oh my God. Why is it so heavy? If I can get it off. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> oh no, I can't do this. I'm gonna have to roll it over my kneecaps. Holy <laughs> Actually, I don't think I can do this. I think I need assistance. Ouch, that hurt really badly. Ow, my ribs. See, once it's up there, it's not heavy. It's not that heavy. Easy money. It's so awkward. Hell yeah. Wow. That was definitely an experience I don't want to do more than once. <laughs> Holy smokes. I need somebody stronger. Oh, freaking frack. Oh, why is this so hard? <laughs> oh my God, I got it. Overall rating of that experience, three out of 10. I did not enjoy any of that. Okay, RDLs. Q, putting your hips, oh my God, my hamstrings hurt so bad. Oh my God. I'm not gonna use straps right now, which means my grip strength is going to be poo weenie baby weak. Let me demonstrate what else I'm capable of. Okay, and finally, we're going to stretch. Full disclosure, I've actually been slacking so heavily on, on my post-workout stretches, which I usually use to help my flexibility. I've been slacking immensely for the last like several months. So my flexibility has decreased. And people ask me, they're like, Patty, are you naturally flexible? I am not. I am not naturally flexible. Anyway, this is what I do for flexibility. Ow, frick. Oh. Ouch. See, this is my good leg and this actually hurts extremely bad. So I'm going to do like two sets of 30 seconds for all these stretches. And then left leg. The left leg is going to be insanely unflexible. Oh my gosh, it already hurts so bad. See, because I was already sore also from two days ago and now I just worked out again. Ouch, 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 ouch. This is probably going to be, ow, that's it. That's it for me. I usually am able to go all the way down, but because of my lack of commitment to stretching after my workout, now I have to start over. RIP me. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Fitness is not linear. So don't worry about if you feel like you've lost gains or lost progress because it's nothing you can't regain. And you just get to start the process all over again. How fun is that? Okay, middle split. Ooh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, I don't know what happened here, but my microphone died or something. So I'm gonna narrate uh, so we can have a different experience. 
Okay, so here I'm getting ready to go into the middle splits. And there I go. Um, and then I'm talking about how my middle splits actually have not diminished because it's mostly my hamstrings that get tight, but you're not stretching your hamstrings when you do the middle splits. So, oh, and then I started to get upset because I was like, hey, I know last time some people were being too silly about the stretching. Stop doing that. Nothing about this is overly sexual. Then I'm getting ready to do my back bend. Uh, real ones will remember a couple months ago I was getting ready to do some like circus party thing. Anyway, what ended up happening was the party was canceled. So those several months where I was increasing my back flexibility ended up not being utilized. And then after that, I got lazy and stopped practicing, so lost it all. Anyway, yeah. And here, I was talking about how I love when you do a bridge. Sometimes when all the blood rushes to your head, you start seeing stars. And then you get super lightheaded. And then you feel like you're going to pass out. And I just feel like that is so fun. I don't know. Maybe that's a little demented, but that's what I was talking about here. And uh, yeah, I stand by that. Anyway, yeah, those cheap thrills. Um, I feel like that's probably not great for you, but I am not always a role model, so, you know. <laughs> and then I did a little spin, woohoo! So yeah, that concludes the stretching. Thank you for listening. Oh my sweet lord, that was such an experience. Now I'm in the car, I got some food. Wow! Don't tell me that doesn't look delicious, it's beef onions and rice it's literally the best yum 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 um <clears throat> i don't know if i was just starving to death but that was the best freaking meal i have had in a while that was so delicious that is going to conclude our day today um thank you for watching main takeaways so i'm not saying it's like the best thing in the world or like you have to do all of your workouts with only a dumbbell, but if that's all you have, then this is a great option for you. Or if you just wanna mix it up and just use a dumbbell, like me, if you wanna get a little silly, that's up to you. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. Let me know thoughts, questions, concerns. The only thing I have left to say is adios.